What are the most common structural engineering issues that pop up with homes? Well, guess what? I was curious about this question. So for my 57th weekly real estate video, I decided to ask Rob Knarr, a residential structural engineer with Clayson Consulting, exactly this question. Hey, thank you. Thanks for having me back again. Awesome, my pleasure. So I'm really curious, since you're a structural engineer, residential structural engineer, what are the most common issues that you see pop up in your work during inspections? Wow, okay, so that's a great question. So, um, you know, in terms of buying and selling transactions a lot, you know, obviously it's foundation issues, foundation cracking in walls, um, foundation uh, slab cracking, you know, generally, you know, it depends on the type of crack for walls, but you know, there's big horizontal crack along the wall, about mid height of the wall is really a nasty one that you don't, you want to avoid because the, the that means the wall is getting bowed in. Um, if you kind of think about, if this is your foundation wall and it starts to bend like this, that's, if it wasn't so flexible, you get a crack later on there. And that's what happens in your foundation walls. It's getting pushed in by the soil. Uh, that's that's a great imagery. That's a great visual. Yeah, I, I just kind of had it sitting here. I just say, oh, that's a good visual aid. Um, I mean, the horizontal crack's a really bad one. Um, you know, then there's a separate, you know, that's one issue. Then settlement issue is a completely different thing, but it causes more like stair step cracking or um, your diagonal type of cracking. So I guess there's not, and then there's other types of cracking that are just, um, normal shrinkage cracking, they're more vertical cracks and they're minor, but I guess the point is on all that is that, you know, cracking is not caused, but there's many different causes why a foundation will crack. So it's kind of hard to, you definitely want to have someone like me to come in and look at that if you're buying or selling a house, um, just to make sure, you know, is it the bad crack? Is it, is it minor? You know, you just can't look at one crack and say, oh, it's, 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 it's this cause. It's always, there's like three different reasons why it could be cracking. Um, the other thing I get called in a lot is um, for like wood framing, you know, joists, columns and beams, um, a lot of damage, whether it's, you know, purposeful or I'd say accidental, I guess, purposely accidental by contractors when they drill holes or put notches in joists and beams. Uh, you know, the code allows certain holes and notches to be put in, like if you're going to run like electrical wiring or duct work or piping or stuff. I mean, obviously there's, you know, every house has holes and notches in it, but there's certain limits in the code you can do. Um, unfortunately, a lot of the plumbing electrical HVAC contractors don't necessarily know the rules very well and they kind of just hack away at those. So I get called in a lot to look at some big holes and notches. Um, also with um, termite damage, I mean, that's a, a big issue a lot in some of the older houses and stuff where, you know, termites generally like to uh, eat from the inside out. So it's you're not, not necessarily going to see the damage until it's way too late sometimes. So I uh, get called in a lot for that. Um, a couple other bigger things I get into more in the house flipping realm, um, uh, you know, wall removals. Uh, a lot of people want some rig open floor plans now. Uh, I get called in a lot to look at that. Um, yeah. additions, uh, you know, decks, you know, decks are Decks are kind of my, I always laugh because it's always the most popular thing that people do with your do-it-yourself project. Hey, let's go to Home Depot and buy a bunch of wood and, and slap it all together with the cooler of beer. And, and a lot of times they're not built the right way. And unfortunately, there's things that, I, there's a whole, you know, whole litany of things I could talk about with decks. But um, I think those are generally the major things I come across. And those are things to kind of look out for when you're, when you're looking at it with buyers and sellers. So. Awesome, Rob. That was fantastic. And also, uh, as Rob mentioned, we're going to do another video. Stay tuned for most uh, the, the common issues with fix and flips with the removals of walls and uh, also the deck. So thank you so much for joining us again, Rob. Hey, thanks for having me, Drew. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right. It was my pleasure. And thank you, everybody, for watching.